Welcome back friends to Average Joe's Barbecue. In today's episode, we're gonna be making smoked pumpkin bread pudding. And we're gonna be using a pumpkin to do it. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and get started. The uh, ingredients here are really simple. This is gonna taste amazing, so we'll just jump right in. Here, I have 29 ounces of pumpkin puree. You can get this in the can at your local grocery store uh, this time of year especially. We're gonna be to that, we're gonna be adding one cup of white sugar, one cup of brown sugar, four teaspoons of ground cinnamon, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and one cup of salted pecans. Let's give that a light mixing real quick. All right, next we're gonna add eight eggs. And to that, we're gonna add five cups of half and half. Any brand will do. Give that a good mix. A little bit of a mess. All right, I went ahead and transferred this to a bigger bowl so I don't make such a mess. And I got this really well mixed together. And if you can smell this right now, it smells so good. You smell vanilla and the pumpkin. It smells absolutely amazing. Once you have it all mixed together, then you're gonna add your bread. Now, you can add whatever kind of bread you like. Uh, today, I got some uh, brioche buns. Um, I'm choosing brioche because it's got a little bit more uh, butter and fat in it. Uh, but again, there's no rules on, on what you can use. Most people use white bread. Um, but again, choose what you have on hand. And I'm just going to just give these kind of light little tears, nothing uniform. We're just going to kind of start folding it in. Let that bread start soaking up all this batter that we made here. As you see, this batter is still a little, a little soupy, and that's really not what you're looking for. So we're going to add some more bread. Be right back. Welcome back. So I ended up adding seven more buns with a grand total of 15 all together for this, uh, the, this recipe. Um, as you can see, it's not soupy anymore, and it's right about where we want it to be. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to try and try and transfer it into this pumpkin without making too much of a mess.
right. A little bit more. There we go. All right. We'll head, take this over to the grill. Let me show you that. Welcome back, friends. We're going to be using uh, the Grill and Grill Silverback today. I'm going to be using uh, cherry wood. And we're going to be running this thing at about 350 degrees. Let's get it inside. We're gonna let this thing run for about, playing for about an hour and a half. We're gonna come back and check it in about 45 minutes. Uh, what's gonna end up happening here is the top is gonna to cook before the bottom. Um, so we need to be keeping an eye on this thing and making sure that we don't overcook the top and undercook the bottom. So let's come back in 45 minutes, I'll bring you with me. Welcome back friends. It's been about 45 minutes, let's get this check. another 45 minutes and we'll come back and check again. See you soon. Welcome back friends. So it's been about an hour and a half. Let's check out this. Nice crust on the top of this. The smell is just wafting. Let's go ahead and give it a bite. Cheers, folks. Oh, right off the bat, you get the pumpkin. Slight hint of smoke. And vanilla. This is good. Folks, if you're looking for a unique side dish, for your holidays and get-togethers, I recommend this. Um, if you like what you saw here today, consider hitting like and subscribe. Otherwise, folks, I'll see you next time. Take care.